The ancient Ram Inn, infamous for its stories of horrific paranormal activity and believed to be one of the most haunted homes in the world. There are numerous rooms within this home known for demonstrating its pure evil abilities upon those that dare stay in them, and especially to those that do so alone. Tonight, we will be entering the belly of the beast that has stricken fear into every guest that has dared to visit. Call them nasty names. Do all you can to raise them from the dead. Let's go, Sturgeon. We're in your room, your home. We didn't even ask for permission to come in here. You have permission to enter my mind and or my soul. I just sat it on the board and it said Satan. His hands out. All three. Is, is, that, is that safe to do? He won't escape. Many of you lurking upstairs, too cowardly to come down. Show yourselves. Wait, Whoa, are you what? serious? Whoa. I have never seen that. Oh my god, what? 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 Put a light down there. Put a light down there. You good? What? Welcome to the Overnight Channel dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Ancient Ram Inn, Belly of the Beast. This is night 10 of 13 from our UK and Ireland series, so make sure to subscribe. What's up everyone, and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. So if you're new here, just welcome. We are at the location that I believe is the most highly requested place we have ever had over the last five years. It's the Ancient Ram Inn. Would guess and say there's been at least a half million comments saying to come here and stay the night. And tonight, I have the keys. And we have the keys and we have the ability to stay here and sleep in the living room. They're on the couches, they're on the beds. We just have to leave by 10 in the morning. Perfect. So, mm. As long as we want to be here, we can. You've been here before? Yeah, this was originally uh, documented 11.45, the first person to uh, use this place as residential. Now it goes back beyond that, so it's a thousand years old. There's a horrifically dark history and paranormal activity here. There is nothing but dark history here. Sacrificing children, which is proven because they dug up the bodies inside the property. With all that being said, and based on what happened at Woodchester, What's happening? That's why Andy's here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> On his birthday. So happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. Everybody comment, Andy. happy birthday, Andy. We asked you very last minute to join us tonight and you said, well, but birthday. But you said yes, so yeah, why not? Thank you. And you're you're here to keep uh, Thank you. Corey safe and sound tonight. <laughs> yep. Yeah. There's a lot of energy in there. There's ley lines, they intersect. Some say they come from Stone End, which is what? not that far away. Avery's not that far away either, so they intersect, they intersect the two. There's all sorts. Witchcraft, murders, you name it. And for the, if you missed our Woodchester video, Andy is a psychic medium, correct? That That's is right. your proper title. So maybe we can learn more about this place, but it's a little bit warmer inside. Yeah. Are you ready? I am. I've been looking forward to this. Ready? I don't know. <laughs> the Ancient Ram Inn, the most haunted home in England, was built in 1145. It served as a priest's residence, inn, and public house, now sitting as the oldest building in England's Watton Under Edge. It is known to sit atop of two ley lines, which are believed to be channels of flowing spiritual energy, and when combined, enhance the power source and activity of the other side. These same ley lines can be mapped directly into the historically sacred location, Stonehenge, allowing free-flowing energy to travel this spiritual highway. During its initial phase of life, the property was used to house those working on the church across the street. One of the key tasks was diverting existing streams of water around the church and the Ram Inn. Theoretically, creating a flowing portal of energy full circling the property. And directly in the center of the timeline of the Ram Inn were the infamous witch trials that swept throughout England, with one in particular directly tied to this location. In the 1500s, a witch was burned at the stake, yet her last place of refuge prior to being captured and executed was the Ram Inn. 
She now has her own room within the property, aptly titled, The Witch's Room, as she is known to haunt all of those who enter her sanctuary. Yet beyond its near 900-year-old structure, the Ram Inn is placed upon a 5,000-year-old pagan burial ground. There is no doubt that the history of the ancient Ram Inn is complex and layered in the soil and mortality of it. But the modern hauntings and stories of terror that brought us here today began in the late 1960s by a man named John Humphreys who wished to protect the historical building and then called it his own home. He had numerous claims of the vicious hauntings that would torment him during his sleep, violently dragging him out of bed and across the room. Yet even still, he persisted to call this place his home. Determined to not give up his pledge to preserve the ancient Ram Inn, he continued to sleep in the home and to be awoken in the middle of the night by demonic activity. He stayed there alone as his wife and three daughters refused to stay with him. As each night he fought to survive, he would spend his days finding answers to what tortures him in the evening. Evidence was found of ritual sacrifice, devil worship, and the skeletal remains of children underneath the staircase. Alongside of the remains were broken daggers believed to be used in this horrific ritual, left in a manner so that whatever evil may have been summoned could never be undone. The hauntings documented in the ancient Ram Inn vary to an extreme level, with their reasons for occurring being equally as horrific. The former innkeeper's daughter was believed to be hung in the attic. The spirits of the unknown amount of children that were murdered here are now known to roam the home. Centuries worth of various exorcisms and dark practices have compiled here to accumulate a near visible darkness that consumes this property. The bishop's room is considered to be the most haunted of them all, where those meant to represent the good and the light were abusing their power and in inflicting atrocious treatment upon those they were meant to protect. The alleged occurrences that took place here are too graphic for us to share. During the time in which John would sleep in the main part of the home, he reported that an incubus and succubus would haunt and inflict their terror upon him and anyone who would dare stay overnight. The evidence documented here and feelings visitors immediately acquire upon entering are immense. What stories John shared is only heightened by the thousands of guests that have had paranormal encounters here as well. Being shoved while walking up the stairs, dark entities appearing in a near arrogant stance during photographs, the cries of children, screams of the man who was murdered here by having his head thrown into a burning fireplace, orbs amassing instantly and moving freely in addition to the hundreds of pieces of scientific paranormal evidence evidence are all reasons why the ancient Ram Inn claims and lives up to being the most haunted home in England. The mummified cats and skeletal remains of children, in addition to the lengthy history this plot of land provides, leaves the ancient Ram Inn as a remarkably complex and condemning building for the evil that manifests within it. John Humphreys lived in this home for more than 50 years until he passed away in 2017. The home is now owned by his family and remains open for visitors, with most of which being paranormal investigators looking to test their will to endure the hauntings of the ancient Ram Inn. Tonight, we will attempt to bear just one night in this legendary home. If you hear or see anything during this video, please leave a comment and let us know. Oh, it smells. Wow. Whoa, what the f What's that smell? A thousand year old years wow. old, huh? This is so cool leather jackets. Have you guys seen the mummified cat? No. Wow. Yeah, no way. Four to five hundred years wow. old. Why would they have that? Again? The mummified cat was found by John and the ancient ram in either behind a fireplace or inside a wall. It was believed that the cats had a sixth sense and that putting a cat in the wall was a blood sacrifice and yet they removed the cat from the wall. That's what I was going to say, why yeah. would he remove it from the wall? Maybe they didn't know. Maybe once they removed it from the wall is then when they realized what it was meant for. There are rumors that the previous owner of this building would only stay in this room, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not a rumor, that's 
Yeah. That's confirmation. Yeah. I want to I wanna read something that the current owner texted me earlier today. If you want the most activity from the spirits, be loud, be enthusiastic, be lively, laugh, dance, sing, be demanding. Call them nasty names, play medieval music, do all you can to raise them from the dead. Don't hold back. You've come a long way for this amazing place. Worst realtor ever. On CTTV, we've caught keys moving on coffee table, bags moving on the floor, and dad's friends were thrown across the room from the chair they were sat on here. Dad was pulled out of bed by his wrists the first night he stayed in the ram. That justified the fact that he had a house with a host of ghosts in because he worshiped the Holy Ghost and therefore should respect and believe in other ghosts. We the sofa the here room. is the sofa he slept on for the last eight years because he wouldn't sleep in the rest of the house. No. This is the the polite room, right? Yeah, well, this, this is the, the, the nice the safe ish room. That's what Pauline said that that shouldn't be swinging that much. And the only reason it's doing that is because there's a portal here. It's going to rise up. I think we should see the rest of the place and then get yeah. all get out all of the uh, devices we have. Okay. Wow. Wow. What is oh this? Oh, they have like a perfect seance table and everything here, huh? Wait, there's a grave here? There's a grave here. Oh, is that for the children? Yeah, this is where they found some of them. And they're said to be listed throughout the whole property. The whole property, the yeah. entire underlayer. There's rumored to be over a hundred bodies here. What? Yeah. Do you know they why? Never, they never was able to excavate it because this cast is ancient. Yeah. So there was no recent murders. So when they dug these out, they realized the bodies were 600 years old. Is there any ever any explanation as to why? Yeah, they were sacrificing the children upstairs. All of them? Yeah. Hundreds of, potentially a hundred yeah. or more children. There was other murders in like the 15th century, 16th century and stuff, but because it was a, uh, like a, a halfway house pub at one point as well. I don't like that it's turning towards me. But why is he turning? You'll yeah, find why is it right? Yeah. You'll find that it looks at you. Yeah, why <laughs> would it be turning? I mean, there's no air pressure in these bricks. It's, uh -uh. it's not a draft. It's yeah, no one touched it when we came no in. Right now, no one could have. You couldn't have accidentally touched no, that. No, and it wasn't moving when we walked in. Now it's like it's looking it's, at all of it's us. It's slowly just kind of scanning the making room. sure it knows that we're all here. The site of the parish church in the inn goes back far into the mist of British history. Beneath the church is a pagan altar and a grove. It has been claimed for many years the inn stands over an ancient British burial ground dating back to 500 BC. Why? What? Which probably accounts for the incredible hauntings here. 500 BC? That'd be 2,500 years ago. So with that plus the children, I mean, how many? How many people are buried underneath here? Thousands. Thousands? Thousands? Yeah. yeah, actually. And you gotta remember, what? everything's built on top of each other, so it's probably layer after layer after layer of bodies. Holy sh! Evan, what? You got some cheeks. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. What does that door go to? Oh my god, that's exact. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a spirit board. No way. Yeah. There's a guy stood over there. There's a what? There's a guy just stood there. Boy, in front of Corey. Yeah. You, the, you visually saw him or medium saw him? Medium saw him. Oh. And he's got a long leather coat. Leather? Yeah, almost down to his ankles. There's so many crosses and Bibles and just so many different symbols. And it's still clearly not enough. They're trying. What? This is exactly what we were talking about at the Poltergeist house. It says that many investigators of the paranormal recognize that ghosts tend to be linked to strong emotions and dramatic events. It has been suggested that powerful human emotions, such as fear, love, or terror, somehow imprint themselves onto the buildings or places where the events took place. These emotions are then stored in the bricks, stones, or timbers until such time as a set of circumstances releases the energy in the form of a recreation of the events long past and so a ghost appears. That's literally like the stone tape theory, yeah. but in general, just all building materials or places. Akasha. Yeah. Akasha. Whoa. 
Oh shit, is that the attic door just open? Yeah. Oh. Do you know what all the, the, the belts and buckles are for? They're all throughout the hole. On the doors. They're everywhere. Ace, Ace. Just he's kind a, of he's uh, upstairs. Uh, Who's so, upstairs? Uh, no, he's no, not. He's not. No, he's not. No. You don't hear this? Oh, he's over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was. I didn't see him for a second. I think. I you, heard, you heard that. Yeah. His footsteps upstairs. There was just multiple footsteps upstairs. Oh my. You feel the floor caving in underneath you. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh wow. The so-called bishop is the violent poltergeist too. And if you sit in that chair there, uh -huh. you get angrier and angrier and angrier. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you think it's where he sits? This is the bed that I uh, let down on. And within 30 seconds, I was fast asleep. And I wasn't even tired. And then Josh woke me up. I started snoring. I had no idea. It was like being put to sleep medically. Is that the attic? That's the attic space, yeah. Oh, so it directly connects to his room. There yeah. is no gap or anything between it. No. What's interesting to me is how often it says, careful, it gives you a like a command, but then it puts a question mark at the end. Like, yeah. be careful here. Right here. Oh. Uh, yeah, you see. No, I know exactly why. It's another <laughs> scrying mirror. Oh. Huh. I'm good. It's exactly what it is. You light the candle. Everything that you need for it is here. Oh, that's why it's careful here. It's warning you. What are you getting up here, Andy? I'm giddy. I've got a tightness around my throat. Ah, uh, yeah. Now you tell us when to get out of here, man. It's, it's okay. This, it's, it's just sort of black. <laughs> It's going across the walls, that's all I can see. I do think there's some sort of hanging up here. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because I've just got it all around my throat. Should we get everything ready and start? Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Let's head downstairs, get the gear. Yeah. Figure out the plan. And you're leaving us for the night then? Yes, yeah, best of luck. Okay. <laughs> sure you'll be fine. <clears throat> Are you sure, or are you I'm sure? Yeah, you, 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 you. Damn it, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the fun part about this place? Once you're inside, I can actually lock us in. Like I can't break a window? You're crazy. Oh, that is fun. You gonna break a thousand year old window? Yes. That, that actually makes me away from a ghost, are you kidding me? That might curse you. That's true. You break something in the house, imagine how Isn't that bad luck? No oh, problem. Yeah. Happy Thank birthday you. again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Yeah. And enjoy the night. So uh, nothing you. demonic showed itself to you tonight? Not yet. Not yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. Let's head inside. We got all the cameras, all okay. the gear. Thank you very much for everything. No problem. It was a pleasure. Thank, you. Thank you. you. Take care. Seriously. Thank you, sir. Yeah, nice to meet you. Drive safe. Will do. Yeah. Take care. Have a good birthday. See you later. See you later. Who wants to kick it off? Introduce ourselves first, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the mistake we made at Woodchester. Mm. Is we never introduce ourselves. No. To be fair, I don't even think... Well, no, we did start the investigation. We did get some tools. And yeah, we never said hello. Anything polite at all within the home. Yeah. Hello, residents of the Ram Inn. My name is Elton. Hello, my name is Corey. Hello, my name is Don. Hello, I'm Matt. Is there anyone here tonight that happens to remember Dan? Well, we were told to be jolly and loud and demand so I feel like if the owner of the home is telling us to do that, maybe we should. Do I go around the, around the table and tell a story? Funny story. <laughs> sure, you go first. 
Oh man. Um, but it's got to be loud. Yeah. And it's got to be enthusiastic. Yeah. I don't know and you got to have to. Okay, Mister. I do stand up comedy for a living. But stories. Well, we had so we told so many yesterday at, at dinner. Mm. I should have oh, yeah. saved them. We traveled. At least three of us at this table traveled a very, very long way to be here. We've heard so many stories, seen so many videos, reports, everything you could ever imagine about the ancient Ram Inn. And to be here tonight is an honor. And if anyone else here would want to interact with us in any capacity, whether knocking, walking around, talking, or interacting with any of our devices, we'd be incredibly grateful to have that opportunity. Who else wants to express their enthusiasm? Dan? <laughs> Spirits or entities in this home. We've heard a lot of stories about you. And we mean no harm. We come in peace. We just want to try to talk to you tonight and maybe learn a little bit about this home or this land. And if you would like to talk with us tonight. Could you give us a confirmation by making one of our tools that we've set out around this house go off by putting your energy into it? I'm super excited to be here again. This is the third time I've been here. We've had two encounters in the past. I know you do well inside the walls of this place. So don't be shy. If you're upstairs, come down and say hi. What time is it? It's gone for the end. 318. Mmm. I'm starting to get so tired and all it is. Really? You hear those yeah. Knocks? Yeah. Dude, you cannot get tired. Like legit. I feel like you should fall asleep now. No, we will not. We won't let you fall asleep. Mm-mm. Without drawing some penises on your face. Yeah. Standard. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> Standard. Oh, you haven't called any names. You dookie head. Wait, Whoa, are you what? serious? Whoa. Are you serious? Whoa. I didn't like that idea. I'm sorry. Whoa. I'm so sorry. I did not like that idea. Whoa. Holy shit. Whoa. I have never seen that. I the cat ball physically moved. I take it back. I apologize. I'm so sorry. The cat ball physically moved. With with the EMF going off at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Did that upset you? Or did you like it? Do you like the confrontation? We don't quite know who or what we're talking to yet. But in most cases, you're probably someone with an evil past. Scallywag. Yeah, Scallywag. <laughs> Should we go around the table? Do what? Call Insult it? it? Oh, this is my favorite game. Let's do it. So which tosser oh. killed a kid here? Mm. If any of you lurking upstairs, too cowardly to come down, show yourselves. This home is full of sheep shaggers. I bet you're pee sitting down. 
<laughs> Yo. <laughs> Music has to work, by the way. Put a light down there. Put a light down there. Yeah, yeah. What? Switch so push my like. Are you serious? I swear, I swear down now. Like Something. how big? Like a cat size? Something brushed your leg? Yeah, it went in between mine and Matt's leg. I didn't feel anything, thank God. How, like how tall? Just on the back of my car. I haven't seen you jump in 10 days. Well, dude, it's it's just you wrong. You that's what I'm saying. That's why I believe you. It worked. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Did something just rub on the back of Dan's leg? If that was you, make one of our devices go off. Whoa. The thermostat actually won't land on 66.6. .6. It's going 66.5 and 7, back and forth, back and forth, and it literally will not land on it. Even right now, look at that, 5-7, Whoa. You what? good? What? That's on my hip. I told you! Are look you at serious? the K2, look at the K2. You felt something on your hip? What was it? Like, like on that side? Like on this side, I felt pressure on my hip. Bro. If you're not afraid, you haven't come in contact with me yet. And if you know the mark of the beast, you can probably change the temperature to match that. That was the craziest I have ever seen the K2. Mm -hmm. React. If you want us to go to a different room, make the ball light up that is on the ram's head behind me. Yeah, I mean, nothing about asking questions was in the... Jesus, well, I don't know. Something just made my whole body jump and get chills. I, like, didn't even... Do that. That was weird. I just, yeah, just all my hairs in the back of my neck just stood up. And nothing that we were advised to do involved asking questions. It was always just demanding. It was either have fun or demand activity. I feel like maybe in order to wake up the dead, we gotta wake up every room in the house. Yeah. I mean, no one would have slept down here in the first place, so who were we really waking up? Let's go stir some shit up. Yeah. Everything's rigged except for the small room. Anywhere you go, you'll be seen. There's a small little hallway area. Is that you, Dan? Do like touch my back? No, how about you don't touch your back when I'm still here? I felt like How am I going to touch your back when I'm facing this way? Touch my back. Really? Really? Yeah, when I was walking up the stairs. Before we start our investigation in the rest of the house, I have to ask. Jeez. Is there anyone there? So sorry. Yeah, break the door. Is there anyone there? Is there anyone there? I can hear the uh, motion detectors going off. Where? The security cameras. Hear them clicking. Where? In the uh, staircase. Oh, jeez. Are you in the angry chair? No, it's not one of the. Save to see just for me, yeah? What's his name? The Bishop? Or. Mm -hmm. Just the Bishop? Dan, do you know the answer to that? What was that? Dan. Yeah? Man, did you, you fall asleep? <laughs> You fall asleep. I don't feel slow. Bro, did you hear did us you talking to you? No. You didn't hear me ask about the bishop? No. Did Are you, you hear, serious? Did you hear Elton say bishop? No. Evan, did he just fall asleep? Yes. Dan, you just fall asleep. Evan, did he just fall asleep? Yes. Really? Yes. yes. In the same room? 
How did you fall asleep that quickly? I have no idea. It's not even that late, man. I am tired. Well, I'm tired. Just crazy. In this place. I went out, when we went outside, we, we am I was wide awake. It just started smelling horrible in here. Where I am sitting, it smells awful. I don't smell anything right here. I don't smell anything, but I keep, I'm cold. Is sure. the bishop here? For everything you did, all the negativity you conjured up, the power you believed you possessed, yet whatever was downstairs in this house has more control and abilities than you do. Came here expecting you to be powerful. Yeah, you have shown nothing but weakness. We're in your room, your home. We didn't even ask for permission to come in here. We simply just did. Something's pushing on my uh, left shoulder right now. In a tugging way? Like pushing down. How's the K2 keeps going off? like the fingers. That's literally what it felt like. Is there anyone in here with us? Is this your home? It's the third person in this house you touched tonight. They still haven't come for me. Is it really true that you're not supposed to go upstairs by yourself? Yeah. I go to a different room. Insane. I'm not gonna lie, this is kinda reminding me of last night. In what way? Nothing really happened, and then all of a sudden, you know, we got to the mirror. And I kind of feel like it's purposely dead, just it's waiting for that build up. Yeah, me too. It's just waiting. It's waiting for you all to fall asleep and me to be alone. Did you just beep? What? I don't think so. I mean, with how tired I am, you could run an experiment if you want. <laughs> Literally, I can literally fall asleep in a minute. What if I'm not necessarily alone in the attic, but alone in one of the rooms in the attic? Let's try it. I have the noise cancelling headphones. Mm. Put me in one room and you in the other. I'm gonna take your cane with me. I'll return it. Ooh. And you set off a device. Jeez, it is really hard to keep my eyes open right now. It's so interesting. You don't want to stay in here by yourself and take a nap? No, I don't know. It's weird, ever since I first walked in this house, I just felt relaxed here. Really? Yeah, I never felt stressed or uneasy. You know, it's interesting you walk in because it looks daunting. I think it looks grim, but it didn't feel grim. Dude, in the poltergeist house, this was just spitting out 20 words at a time. Mm -hmm. Which is obviously not normal. Walk into the room. You can open the door or walk through it. Can I join Elton? Yeah. 
What uh, should we uh, grab from in here? We, we, we can... You pick up the cat ball? Uh, Dan did. We can leave the REM pod if you want. Just leave it like more here, where like the center of the flashlight is. Okay. Um, just so that way the GoPro will get it. Do you sleep? No. No, I'm fine, man. <laughs> yeah, I keep checking in on you. Is that you trying to put me to sleep? You want me to fall asleep? I think that cam camera was malfunctioning. Which one? The one that's back here. It was like sputtering. Now yeah, look, yeah, it just took out the light. Should we go somewhere else? Is that our light just died? It's what it is. One that GoPro just died. I watched it go out. I guess it's like King George. Yeah. King George might have actually been King George. King George might have actually been during this time. Two entered. It just said two entered. As you and I want to. I think we should go upstairs. Yeah, go up to the next thing. Well, uh, I just oh sat it. God. I just sat it on the board and it said Satan. As you said, let's go up to the attic. I sat it on the Ouija board and it says Satan. Why did you say Satan? Look at the temperature. 66.5. I feel as though whatever's in this house doesn't have enough physical power anymore because it's so old. Let's go upstairs. I got the headphones. Here, wait. John will. Okay. John will love. What? What time is it? Hi, hi. Quick, it just said John will love. John, John was the owner who died. It said John will love. Would John love it if we go upstairs? Everything we read on the walls is that John is a God loving man. Also knew he must love all ghosts. We're acknowledging them. Empty. Haunting. Empty. 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 Haunting empty. Spell, which is room. Staff. Staff. Should we sit at this table? Yeah. I'll sit on the bed. Elton? Yes. Won't well, stop going off. Well, well. The REM pod. Where is it? Behind us. Cool. It hasn't gone off all night. I didn't kicked it, remember? Yeah. No. Apple! No f way. You good? Oh, I'm more than good. No, no cap all again! Dude! Like I said, let's go to the attic. Do it a third time and match me. Do it again. Follow no. my pattern. Two times. Two times. One more. Can you make the cab ball go off again? Let me know when you want me to put them on. It's picking up. Mm -hmm. 
very, very minimal radio station, so I'll if anything on. comes through, it's going to be... Put them on now. Yeah. Follow it. Okay. I'm recording. Okay. All right. Recording. Headphones on. Can you tell me your name? Loud and clearly, tell me your name through the device. Is that all you can do? I think I just heard you'll enjoy this. Come on, man. What are we going to enjoy? It's not very impressive. Are you calling us pigs? American. American? That's guy. Which guy? Which one? This one? Or this one? Give me your hand. Give me your hand. There's my hand. His hands out. All three. All three. There you go. Now what? He won't. He won't escape. Can you tell me your name? So we know who we're speaking to. How many people have you heard? How many people have you killed? Yeah, it's fun. Okay, so this is weird. I just looked up because I thought I saw someone. Like right here. And then I wasn't moving and I realized I'm looking into a mirror. Which means I thought I saw someone behind me. I looked right that way thinking someone was standing there and then realized that's my red hoodie. And what I saw was directly behind me. So there was no use. You still touch plenty of my friends, but not me. I'm right here in your bed, wait. It's over. It's over. I'm literally hearing nothing but static. Come and join us over here. Okay. Ooh, my back hurts. Oh, wow. Pull up a seat, lad. That's, yeah, a, um, that's a fun pain. Oh, that one, maybe. Sit, yeah, over here. We had the, the ramp up going up and then stopped. It went off five times in a row, times. Are you done talking to us? It never went off when I was at the table, right? Mm -hmm. I walk up to the cane now. What if I close my eyes for like 30 seconds, I doubt well, I'll fall asleep. I was thinking, imagine if we were both on the side of the bishop's room in the armchairs. 
and then literally fall asleep and you could put REM pod on us. Go ahead, take a nap. Come mm. on. I will. To science. More science. <laughs> Should we do that? Yeah, I'm pretty chance. sure that if we all went to different beds and went to sleep, no one would wake up. Yeah, that's, I don't want that. Until you... 10 in the morning when they're knocking at the door because they have a tour here. I need you to all stay awake if I fall asleep. There's a bed right here, Dan. Pretty comfortable, to be honest. Yeah, let's try it. Just promise me if they all start going off, wake me up. If they all, wait, if they all start going off? Yeah. So that's it, only if they all start going off. Yeah. What's it saying? If stop. one goes off, Ooh. hold fire. Yeah. It said stop. What did? The uh, obelisk. How long do you want to be in here for us to come get you if you fall asleep? Um, just let me let me go sleep for ten minutes. If nothing happens, then just wake me up. If one device goes off, hang fire. Be on the sidelines, ready. If they all start going up, we'll get me up. This is like the middle of every Nightmare on Elm Street movie. <laughs> Yo. What? The flashlight. Rolling back and forth. Is your. You to touch it? Can you push that flashlight? Investigation. I had such little expectations, and it was one of our biggest. Yeah. One of our best experiences. I mean. Yeah, we went to a mansion that no one had ever actually even lived in. Yeah. Do we gently wake him up or scare yeah. wake him up? Grab his legs and pull him out of bed. Yo, he'll start swinging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll swing. No, grab his leg, ankles. He'll, he'll start kicking. Dude, he ain't get that flexible anymore. He ain't reaching us. He ain't reaching for ankles. <laughs> The obvious said we should wake him up with some tip work, <laughs> so... <laughs> No <laughs> 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 silence is panicking. Me. <laughs> like calm as can be. So what mm happened? -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Not a single thing. Fell really? asleep, alright. All right, Bishop. Don't even know your real name because you don't deserve to have one. What you did here should never allow you to be dignified as a human.
lights on. I don't know if that's appearing or not. If that's upset you, I don't care. If we have heard stories about the horrendous things you have done here, then that means the reality is probably far, far worse. You have my permission to try whatever you'd like. Is that the word you needed to hear? Permission. Are you now too weak to take what you'd like the way you once did? How old are you, Russell? Are you in here? Are you in here? Are you in here? So you are. want me to go to sleep. Is that what you need? Is that the bed you wish me to lay on? Where are you murdered here? Can you repeat that? Was he murdered here? When I sit down in the bed, I want you to turn the light off. That way I'll know what you want. How many people were murdered here? Set off the REM pod, and I'll take a nap, and you have permission to enter my mind, my body, and or my soul. It's quite a bargain I'm making with you. It's quite a deal indeed. You can turn it off. Mm -hmm. You can, yeah. Oh. Mine's outside, right? Yes. 
guys were just hearing voices above us or no? Huh? Elton. Where is he? Oh my god! <laughs> I even knew you were back there. Anything? That went off once. What? That one. I actually couldn't figure out where it was. The cat ball? Yeah, I didn't I actually didn't know where the cat ball was until it went off. And it was uh it went off when I knocked on the door and asked if it was in here. Mm. Other than that? Nothing astronomical. Anything else go off? No. Flashlight was fairly responsive. But yeah, nothing I would say that made me definitively say like there's something in this room. It can't happen every night. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It just, it can't. Like, you can't expect it to happen every night. And a lot of times we've been incredibly lucky with the activity we've had. And just, it is what it is, you know? Like, it's unrealistic to think that every place you're going to show up to and any night that you show up to, something just spectacular, something remarkable is going to happen. Yeah. I mean, how many times have we heard people say that they've been investigating for 20 years and they list like the most exciting phenomena they've ever experienced in 20 years and we're like, damn, that's happened to us twice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, we had the full moon on our side for a couple of days. That was nice. I mean. We tried everything tonight. But for the first time ever, we got a cat ball to roll. Yeah. That's true. And that's never happened. Ever. Yeah, we always have these just wild expectations for what we expect to happen. We expect to have hour-long REM pod sessions where it's call and response or flat, flat like flashlight sessions where everything's accurate and mm -hmm. the SLS and thermals and yeah. just nothing. Nothing but a cap on the K2. It's up to you guys whether or not we sleep or not, but we got a few more hours here, so. Sleep. I mean, <laughs> yeah. hilarious. Weird to know he can. I mean, I can. Yeah. We have some sleep right here. You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. But I'm probably just gonna play on my phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, here, I, I believe everything here was blessed, and spells were put on to make sure that this was a safe haven. Uh, that room, that that paper over there, still says that stuff happens in here. Until. Until what? And, and then that's why he ended up blessing like. Uh, oh. Yeah. I mean, look at that giant Bible. Still mm -hmm. no. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Right, there, right next to you. I know. It's pretty cool. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I could knock out right now. Shit. <laughs> I mean, well, we'll figure it out. But uh, tomorrow we're off back to Ireland mm -hmm. for Loftus Hall. Yo. And then we're going to Paris for the catacombs. Yo. But, uh, Dan, it's been, been a fun 10 days, my friend. It's been an experience. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I still don't think you knew I feel what like I was a new man. Huh? I feel like a new man. Oh, really? I feel more brave. Oh. I've probably got a bunch of people watching right now mm -hmm. who watch me and they're like, holy sh**, down the got balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm Cat gonna... balls. <laughs> Cat balls. <laughs> oh so, yeah, God. no, it's been a pleasure. Really enjoy it. Oh, oh yeah. Got fun. Well, yeah, man. And you're doing a bunch of, uh, oh, by the time this is out, you'll have already done all your Halloween oh, yeah, videos. Yeah, done all, yeah. Do you know what he's doing for Halloween? Going to places but entirely by himself, haunted locations, entirely solo. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just him. Can you give us a, an example of a location? Um, there's a Witchwood Forest in the UK. Um, what? Apparently the most haunted forest in the UK. One of the most haunted forests. You're going in the to the forest by yourself? Yeah. Are you going to camp out? Yeah, 10 bought CCTV cameras, wireless battery ones to put around the perimeter. You're just going to be out there. Yeah. Well, 
R.I.P. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap, geez. dog! That's insane, dude. I don't go to Runyon Canyon by myself. Hey, I'm blaming, <laughs> I'm blaming you lot for this newfound love for paranormal. Oh no! So, if, yeah, if, <laughs> if I if I R.I.P. it's your guys fault. Oh don't, no! Don't put that don't on us. Don't put that, don't put that oh, on no. us. <laughs> That's why we all leave here safe and sound. Yeah. Because yeah. Jeez. Damn. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, this is the end of the video. It's because there's nothing else that happened tonight. So yeah, we'll hope, but we never know. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe. Fun stuff. More videos coming at you, all the time. Bye.